26 props to make fully fashioned from scratch translating to 107 pieces and we've had uh, five weeks i think it brings the play alive it would be too bland without the art without the artwork it would just be a bunch of projections and that wouldn't look very real it wouldn't look as realistic as our artwork Uh, reusing stuff like newspaper, bottles, empty boxes like toothpaste boxes and dark fancy boxes. We have not been only using uh, uh, plastic but we have even been uh, reusing paper. Everyone told me to choose either dance, acting or music but I chose art because I think it's the backbone of the production and I love working with my friends to create multiple pieces that we can showcase on the stage. We have something called 15 staffs we have to make completely from scratch for all our monks and dancers and you will see some of them the children are working on it so they started with the ideation they wanted a very fancy spindle like the minaret of a mosque on the top not easy to fashion so there are old paper cups they have brought in we have used that a cone has been made out of old card that we have left over in the school in the admin we have put that together we've done paper mache and it has been attached on old pvc pipes which was spears two years back assigned a job with a specific team and we keep moving on with different new props after finishing a certain prop. The aha moment for me is there. To see it in their eyes that you know they're actually able to draw something, visualize, discuss it. You know, everybody can't sketch and draw. But some have lovely ideas, others can sketch the way they work in a team and then they you know fashion something out of just an idea and they actually make it. Then and again out of waste. I've learned that teamwork is very essential. One person can't do everything and there are a lot of people who are good at certain things. I want the audience to know that each and every prop that's gone on stage, that's been put up there, has been hand done, made by these little hands. What I want the audience to take away can be summed up in a quote from Dr. Seuss. They say, I'm old and think in the past, but sometimes I think progress progresses too fast. I think that we can learn so much from history and that's shown in the fact that the, uh, the main characters go back in time and learn from what, the, what previous things were done to save the future.